Hi, my name's Eric J. Coons, and welcome to today's video that's supposed to be on a 3D printer that was sent to me by a company called AOC to test and review. However, as you may be noticing right now, I am stuck in 2D, as a lot of physical computer generated items have been for years now, and I have no idea how I got this way. Wait, oh god, all oh, the pain! Ah! <sighs> Oh, oh, thank God. It was just a dream. I'm in 3D again. Oh my God, it's so precious to be 3D. I'm gonna take advantage of this and I am going to unbox, test, and review the AOC XMaker 3D printer. Oh, thank God. Let's go back inside. All right, let's bring in the box. It's pretty big and heavy. Here it is, I got my trusty knife. We're gonna cut it on open right here. We're gonna open this box up. Let's see what we got. Ooh, all right, we've got the manual, which is always pretty handy. We got some tools, which we'll find out what we're gonna be tooling later. And then of course, we've got the 3D printer itself. Got a bunch of these dang cushiony things on the sides. We've gotta get those out of the way. Wow, that's crazy. Ooh, it's a 3D printer. Ooh, it's a 3D printer. Yes, it is. All right, now that the 3D printer has been approved by my dog, now we can continue the review. Then at the bottom is a spool of uh, slate gray plastic, which I assume is what we're gonna use to make the 3D printed object. I don't know, I've never actually made one before, so this is gonna be exciting. Now stand back, I gotta practice my stabbing. Ha <laughs> oh, ha! My very first 3D printer. Oops. Okay, before I break this, I'm gonna consult the instructions in the next section, which is when we're gonna set this bad boy up and figure out how to use this thing. First things first, plug it into the wall, and then you're gonna plug the cord into the back of your 3D printer. Then you're gonna put this little filament holder onto the side and spin it at 360 until it locks in. Now you're gonna take off your side cover, and then we're gonna pull out the filament and the filament cutter. Go ahead and turn on your 3D printer, watch that baby start right up, and then you are gonna choose which language you want it in. Next, you'll connect to Wi-Fi, but I'm not gonna show my Wi-Fi info, obviously. Next, go ahead and cut open your filament and then cut it at a oblique angle. Make sure it's an oblique angle and make sure it's straight. Now you're gonna put that filament onto your spinny thing and then you're gonna stuff it up into this little hole all the way up into the pipe. Then you're gonna click on filament and then you're gonna press load and this is gonna heat up your 3D printer. Next up, you're gonna see some pre-plastic goo come out of your machine. Go and download Windows while it's doing that, and then you can click Install Now. It's a pretty fast process. You're just gonna go ahead and create an account through XMaker's app, and then voila, look at this app. It's got all sorts of cool stuff you can choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Gecko for mine. Here's the Gecko and all of its 3D goodness. Go down and click Print, and then you're gonna click Print again, and then it's gonna kinda load for a second and do its thing. It's uploading to your 3D printer, and once it's done that, go and look up to your 3D printer, because now we just have to wait for the 3D printer to finish. guys there. Uh, I guess this is the part of the video where I give you a full review on the product in today's video, which was the AOC XMaker 3D printer. Well, as you can see, the gecko came out very well. I cut off all the plastic on the bottom that you have to do, and I, uh, well, it's sculpted really well. It's movable. It looks pretty chiseled and like exactly how I thought it would be. I actually didn't even expect it to move around like this, so I think that's really cool that it was able to print that. Now, in the 3D printer, there were three different modes that you could put it 
printed on, there is the lowest mode, which is basically fast mode so that it prints really quickly. And it would probably be a little bit less designed than this one or a little less chiseled and a little less correct. Shh, gotta be quiet, I'm filming. And then the last mode that it has is called fine, which means that it would be even more chiseled than this. Now, generally in my videos, I do pros and cons for every single item. However, I found that with this particular product, I didn't have many cons. <laughs> I really only have one major con, which is that I got confused and really that's just user error, AKA my fault. I got confused on connecting the program to the actual 3D printer. And that was because it comes with a little USB and I had plugged it in and it had everything on there. It had like the different designs and the actual XMaker app that you can download to your computer. And I tried to put it in and then I thought, oh wait, I need to film this so I can show you guys. So I unplugged it and then I plugged it back in and then suddenly all of the files were gone. And so I was worried that maybe it was just my Mac. So I tried it on my PC and they were still all gone. And then I tried to plug it directly into the XMaker 3D printer, I thinking maybe that would change something. And again, there was nothing on the USB. So I don't know what I did there. Definitely and probably user error and my fault slash my fault, but uh, that did happen. But that's really my only con in this process. Pros, otherwise this was super easy to set up after I figured out my own dumbness. Essentially the way that I got it to work was I just went on the AOC website website and then I downloaded the program. It went to my PC and it pretty seamlessly connected right to the 3D printer. I chose between like hundreds of designs that it has on the app. I was very surprised how many there were, but I wanted to do something a little bit simple, like a gecko and not like a huge Gundam or something. It took about two hours to two and a half hours and I'm pretty pleased at the way that it turned out. All in all, great 3D printer and it is perfect if you are a beginner like myself. If you guys are interested in buying your own AOC XMaker 3D printer, check it out in the description below. I've got a link down there that helps me out and uh, you know, and then also you get helped out because you buy a cool 3D printer. I'd also like to quickly mention before I end this video out that I have a book and if you'd like to get it, I will leave it in the description below as well. I don't know why I haven't told any of you guys about my book that I published like a year or two ago, but it is on Amazon. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll leave a link down in the description below. It's a cool sci-fi adventure about this scientist named Natalia who travels all over the universe and finds out all sorts of crazy origins about the human race. If you wanna check it out, again, that is in the description below. The Very Strange Universe of Dr. Natalia Zeal and there are two sequels coming very soon. And all right guys, that concludes my video. If you got anything out of this video, please hit that subscribe button and also comment below if you own this 3D printer or if you plan on getting it or if you have a 3D printing experience that you wanna share with others that you could leave right there down in the comments. That would be awesome too. Now I'm gonna leave one of my other review videos right up here just in case you're interested in clicking on that and watching that next. And I will see you guys next time. My name is Eric J. Coons. I love seeing you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.